Hey guys, Troy Peterson, Mr. Blue Girl. And you know, there's a lot of uh, questions I get asked to do them. I, do I cut my fish all the time? And uh, why do I bleed them out? And all this kind of stuff. And I know the Angling Buzz guys uh, did a uh, report, I believe it was Joel Nelson or Brad Hawthorne, one of the guys did. Um, but I'll show you here. Uh, we got done fishing today and uh, I kept a couple fish just to uh, kind of show you uh, the difference. I, I uh, bled out two of them and I left one um, just like you would normally and I'll show you how much of a difference bleeding out these fish really does. So I'll switch the camera over here. Alright so this one here you can see I just take my knife go up underneath the gills and cut it. This one here is not cut and really all you want to do guys while it's in the live well is just take a knife a blade and go right right about through here where my finger is and then cut down like that and that will bleed it out but as you can see there you see all the blood I'll flip this guy over this guy was bled out no blood a lot of blood flay a lot of red blood inside the meat this one nice and clean so it does pay to uh, to bleed these things out, guys, while they're in the live well. Really easy to do, guys. Just keep a knife or uh, you know game shears or something in the boat. Uh, when you get done fishing, go up, clip that area, or take the knife and just slit that. Put them back in the water. Let them rinse out for a while. Um, by the time you get back to the launch, they'll be uh, pretty much all bled out, and then you can throw them on a cooler with some ice. Um, you know, you do here in Wisconsin. I have to make sure all your live wells and stuff are drained. So. Um, try it, you guys will uh, see how much cleaner it is and uh, a lot easier as far as cleaning, you know, the aftermath <laughs> up on the cutting board as well. Uh, I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill, we'll catch you guys on the water. Mm -hmm.